Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T, and if true crime is your jam, and like me, you enjoy delving into unsolved cases, trying to figure out who done it, please consider subscribing. Also, if you find value in my content, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I want to talk a little bit about the second letter that Don Wells allegedly wrote from jail. This one is a thank you to the donors of Summer Wells Reward Fund. The first thing that strikes me is this letter is not handwritten. Did Don's media manager, Tim Mullen, decide not to expose the handwriting to the scrutiny of the true crime community? kind of looks like it. Mullen must have learned his lesson, I'm thinking, from that last letter. Now on this letter, there's a note at the top saying the final letter was spell-checked from the original. I'm wondering if that is Tim Mullen's way of trying to convince us that Don wrote this letter even though it's typed. I definitely think so. It's so obvious. Something I noticed in the first paragraph is that it has terminology that Don Wells used to refer to his five-year-old daughter in the past, a young lady. That sounds like a deliberate attempt to take wording directly from things Don has said in the past and insert it in this letter to try and convince us that Don is the author. I'm already not buying it and I'm only on paragraph one at this point. The next sentence is worded in an insensitive manner in my opinion. It reads, it kills us to think about what she might be going through. That word there, kills, sends shivers down my spine. To take the time now, more than a year out, to thank the people who came up with the reward fund is a day late and a dollar short. What the heck is this? Don has the chance to write a letter and he devotes it to the donors of that fund. And he does it now. I think this is about money. Does Don want to get his hands on those funds? Is this a ploy to drum up sympathy? To plant the seed that those monies should go to poor Don and poor Candace? Why didn't Don come out with a statement when Summer first went missing and when people provided those funds to create a really good reward fund that might tempt people to talk. Don and Candace have never gone out of their way to rally people to help search for Summer. And they've never formally come out to say, thank you all so much for taking the time to look for our baby. We could never thank you enough. And the last line which reads, and for the media who do their job with a heart. Thank you very much and God bless you. In my opinion, this is an obvious attempt to engender guilt in any people in the media who dare to question Don or Tim and the true motivations they have for creating these two bizarre letters. I honestly feel Don or Tim or both are looking for more cash donations only send them to Don and to Tim. And it's clear that Don Wells hasn't learned anything during his time in jail because he is still stuck on that stranger abduction theory, the one that most people have pretty much ruled out. He writes, it kills us to think what she might be going through, end quote. Now, a year after the fact, now Don uses the present tense to talk about summer. Please, that ship has sailed, buddy. He was using the past tense from day one. Now he reverts to the present tense and the conditional. I'm calling BS on the whole bunch. 
The author also uses the plural subject, we. Does this person really think we're going to believe that Candace had a hand in this letter or the other one? No, we don't. She's so MIA that I bet Don doesn't even know where Candace is at. And why would Don say Summer is blameless? That implies some act happened to lead to her getting gone, but she played no active role in initiating it. Then who is to blame, Don? This is a cry not for help in looking for summer, but a cry for cold, hard cash. If this was written by Don, he needs to stop writing BS letters and start doing the right things. Tell law enforcement what happened to Summer. I believe Don knows Summer's fate. Admit to all his acts of essay. Start taking responsibility for the state of your life and your affairs. Start being honest for God's sakes. Until the next time on bed crime stories now please hit that like button subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and leave me a comment